How's it going everyone? College Lefty and in this video I am going to be going over some of the content that was released today. I talked about most of it in my previous upload but we didn't quite see the attributes on some of these brand new cards that they kind of revealed on Twitter. So I will also be showing you how to unlock the 99 overall signature series Jackie Robinson. As you can see I did open up one of the Ducks on the Pond packs and I pulled the base round. So let me go ahead and hide the face cam so you can take a look at these attributes. This card is alright, I'll definitely unlock this card by completing the Father's Day Conquest map, but I won't necessarily use this guy unless there is an event for Player of the Month cards and you have to use that type of team build. But uh, this Ken Griffey Senior card is pretty good, 60 power and 48 power is not the highest, but he does have great contact, decent fielding, and 89 speed. Kind of, uh, I guess kind of like Tony Gwynn style of player with less fielding. This Mike Scott is the uh, brand new headliner card for the pack we, we saw the uh, reveal on twitter and this card is looking pretty good he does have increased hits and k's per nine he still has a splitter he doesn't however have a sinker so with all that being said i think the best card that we have released is this araldus chapman because he has outlier on both his fastball and his sinker 125 hits and k's per nine he has five pitches i am willing to pay 160,000 stubs for this Araldus Chapman. So that's exactly what I just did. I'm going to go ahead and put him in the rotation. That card is absolutely unbelievable. He has a slider. He has a changeup. He has a two seam, a sinker, and a four seam. Throws really well. I'll be trying him out in some of these moments as you have to use your Diamond Dynasty team during stage four to unlock this Jackie Robinson. This Jackie Robinson is also really good. It's the identical card that I included in my previous video, but this card is absolutely amazing. I mean, this is pretty much the Immortal, if not better, than the Immortal version that we had in a couple years ago. So anyway, I am going to go ahead and talk about how to unlock this card. As you can see here, I'm already on stage 4. I have completed all of the moments, all of the missions, and the exchanges or the online um, moments. There is a variety of ways you can do it. I have made a few videos on tips on how to complete the first three stages. So I will link those videos in the comment section down below. We're going to be focusing on how to unlock this 99 overall Jackie Robinson and it won't take very long. I mean, as you can see, I completed the exchange. We'll have to beat the Dodgers on All-Star. We'll have to complete all of these moments for these specific stage four vouchers. They give you four program stars or four points towards the uh, Jackie Robinson evolution program so I will go ahead and show you a few of these missions I'm not going to take you through each and everything we are going to unlock a variety of packs we're going to have a five uh, ball and as a habit pack bundle opening we are also going to uh, have a few cards a few brand new cards to try out after grinding some of this stuff out so uh, with all that being said, I think that this Jackie Robinson will be extremely usable. If you don't have Craig Biggio, if you don't have Ryan Sandberg, or you do have those guys, you can still use Jackie Robinson at third base. You can use him, uh, you can use Ryan Sandberg at third base. Both of those guys are going to be pretty effective. I think that Jackie Robinson has a better swing than uh, Ryan Sandberg, but not as good of a swing as Craig Biggio. I'm going to be trying out both of them in the lineup. Uh, here we're going through a three-inning game. It does require you to beat a stacked Dodgers team on veterans, so it's not that difficult, but uh, just a three-inning game, and you have to beat them. Uh, the next one is play two three-inning games as like a double header without giving up two home runs. So if you do give up the two home runs, I'm pretty sure you'd have to restart both of the games, so that might take you some time if you are struggling. I was using pretty good pitchers in this one. It gives you your top two pitchers for your Diamond Dynasty team, and then your entire bullpen and uh, I guess starting pitchers in relief as well. I just stuck with my relievers. I used Rob Dibble. I used the brand new Araldus Chapman. And we just tried to score a couple runs here and then just get yourself out so that way you don't have to waste too much time hitting. So this is the brand new Araldus Chapman pitching. It's only on veteran. I am going to be trying this card out in viewer games, in ranked seasons, using him on the harder difficulties. But I wanted to see what he would... Uh, throw how hard he was throwing what his pitches were like he gets the slider up to about 90 the changeup is a little fast it comes in at like 88 miles an hour but the fastball and the sinker do get up to over 100 miles an hour so that's nice he also has the two seamer which doesn't have outlier and that pitch is thrown at like 98 so there is a slight speed differential on that two seam from Araldus Chapman that card is absolutely insane I wasn't expecting them to drop 
a 97 Chapman in that Ducks on the Pond pack. I was kind of predicting Chapman for the Stage 3 Team Affinity for the Reds, but we can kind of eliminate that. I tweeted that out as well. But as you can see here, I have completed all of the Jackie Robinson missions and moments, all of them, uh, included you know, with some of the, uh, I guess, offline moments where you can tally you know runs with second basemen or extra base hits with left fielders that is what we're going to have to do to finish off this jackie robinson it's not a mission that you have to complete online in battle royale or events or ranked seasons it's a mission that you can complete against the computer grinding on rookie as the away team and i'm going to be showing you that a little bit right now so basically i'm going to redeem these vouchers we're going to be 20 program stars away and all we have to do is uh, steal some bases with Dodgers, tally extra base hits with left fielders, uh, score seven runs with second baseman, and defeat the Dodgers on all-star. We can actually start to chip away at all of those things at once. While we're beating the Dodgers on all-star, we'll stack a team with a bunch of left fielders and second baseman. We'll try to steal with Dodgers players that will be on our bench. We'll have this 94 Jackie Robinson on the bench we'll have uh, Chris Taylor is another guy that has decent speed he'll more than likely get thrown out but we'll have the player of the month Cody Bellinger as well so after I completed some of those I still needed to get the runs with second baseman as I kept getting caught stealing they're just throwing pitch outs I'm trying to pinch run my second baseman in for my left fielders and try to steal to capitalize on those runs so there is a some strategy that goes into this if you're having a tougher time with some of the earlier missions and moments i will have some links to those videos once again down in the comment section down below i recommend uh, trying to get extra base hits against uh, the tigers the rockies the red sox the a's anywhere with uh, large gaps in the outfield so this is the team that i was using left fielders on the bench second baseman in the game here i'm playing eduardo rodriguez if you choose your second diamond dynasty pitcher against the red sox you can face a lefty if you choose your fifth starter against the tigers you'll face a bronze ivan nova so there is a variety of strategy you can use when unlocking these cards and i wanted to provide all the tips i can throughout this entire video. So that was the last run that I needed with the second baseman. I just decided to quit out. I'll get this ritual of a disconnect. Other people are also completing the Jackie Robinson program. And there we go, we unlocked him just like that. 99 overall second baseman. Could definitely be an end game second baseman, honestly. I mean, 80 power against right, 79 against left. If you can eventually prestige this card and get him a little bit better, he's gonna have 98 speed, 89 fielding, He's going to have, you know, 122 and 125 contact with 82 power against lefties, of course, because he will have that plus three attribute if you are able to prestige him. I'm not sure if you will be or even exactly when you'll be able to, but that would be really nice. I mean, this card is going to be an amazing second baseman. Also has first base, third base, and left field as his secondary position. So you can use him really anywhere on the field. That's going to be helpful. Um... Uh, we're going to go ahead and open up some of these packs. We have 15 standard packs, 5 ballin' as a habit, 1 silver pack, and 1 headliner pack. I got all these packs by completing the stage 4 of Jackie Robinson. These are a great way to build my stubs up. After uh, buying the Ducks on the Pond pack and getting the base round, I lost about 30,000 stubs, to be honest with you. So, uh, with, that, with that being said, I want to get some of those stubs back. Hopefully, we, uh, we do have a couple investments in some gold cards. I have been investing in some players there's a diamond so i'll go ahead and reveal this i think that this might be ronald acuna i've pulled ronald acuna two times and this is exactly what he looked like in the pack so let's go ahead and reveal it it certainly is ronald acuna and that person just got matt kemp out of the set 20 headliner that was a pretty good pull i saw that in the top left i'll take that it's about 8,000, 9,000 stubs his price has certainly dropped since the first time i pulled him i sold him for about 40,000 if I remember correctly, but uh, we'll go ahead and keep opening up some of these packs. Who knows? Maybe we'll get ourselves a Matt Kemp. Kyle 23 Gaming completed Jackie Robinson. I know that uh, that card's going to be really good. I'm excited to get that card. Jack Flaherty out of a ball and as a habit pack from Danny B. I played him in a viewer game yesterday, uploaded that video a little bit earlier today when I was talking about some of the content. Now, also, I wanted to mention, I do want to apologize for some of the confusion that we had in the previous video. I mentioned at the beginning that there would be five 
99s. I thought we were going to get five 99s. I thought that third player was going to be a 99 overall pitcher. Instead, we got 97 overall Araldus Chapman revealed by Paul Sporer while I was making the video. So I included the screenshot of his attributes at the end of the last video. I wanted to kind of clarify that and that's why I had to make a couple edits to the video rather than completely redoing the entire thing. I figured I would just make a few edits, but that Araldus Chapman essentially will pitch like a 99 overall pitcher. It's extremely difficult for closing pitchers to reach that 99 threshold. There we go, there's another diamond. So I just wanted to talk about a couple of those things as well. But here we go. We got a National League starting pitcher live series. Come on, Max Scherzer. Give me. Oh, okay, we got Jack Flaherty, Cardinals starting pitcher. And this is the second time I've gotten him as well. I was hoping for a 90 plus card. Those are really the only cards that are expensive on the market. Uh, with all these Ducks on the Pond players coming out, Ernie Banks, uh, Raldis Chapman, as well as... Uh, Joe Adele, I wanted to uh, really pay close attention to how the market was going to respond. And a lot of those cards dropped in price significantly. So here we did not get the Matt Kemp out of the set 20 headliner. But that's going to do it for this video. Thank you all for watching. I'm College Lefty, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.